Managing tables in FrameMaker is extremely simple due to the special uh, paragraph table catalog. In fact, um, we actually are going to open up a table catalog right here so we can see it. And you'll see that the table catalog very closely resembles the paragraph catalog. A simple click will change the style. Same thing is true with tables. We actually have three types of uh, tables in this document right now, activities, format, a and format B. I'm going to take the table over here that's called format A. I'm just going to select a couple of columns so you can see which one I'm talking about. And a simple click will change it into the activity style. Notice the complete change in color and ruling. If I change it to format B, you'll notice that some of the rules disappear and the positioning changes slightly. Let's turn it back into a format A. What I'd like to do is to zoom in a little bigger. Let's go up to about 75% where we can see several of these tables. And I'm going to change two of these table styles using the table designer make two quick changes. First of all, inside of table A, I've decided that I'd like to change the color in here. And so I'd like to have um, basically all of my colors be 100% yellow. This only takes a moment. And um, I'm making this change just so it's dramatic and easy to see. Um, this is not really particularly a choice I might make in this case, but it'll certainly give you an idea how the process works. So basically we can choose from any number of things. Now I can apply it to just one table, as you see here. Let's go back down and zoom where we can see more of it, but remember that I have multiple instances of that table style A. So just as with a paragraph, if you click on apply, you will change only the one table. And you can actually search for that and correct it. But if I click on update all, and I go ahead and say that I don't want overrides, notice that every instance of format A has changed to this yellow style table. I like that. I think I'd like to use it again, so I'm going to go ahead and save that style. Let's make a quick change to uh, table format B. So once again, we're going to zoom in to perhaps 75%. And I may want to change this just a little. Um, I don't want to do a whole lot to it. In this case, I'd like to make some changes to the rules. Um, the rules are your lines going around top and bottom. Now I'm going to change it so that I have no rules around it, actually here, as you can see around the outside of it. And let's apply that. You can see it looks quite different. And then what I'd like to do is to have the first um, column have a double line. And I'd also like to use a double line to separate the header rows from the rest of it. Once again, I've done an apply to change just one of them. And just for the dramatic effect, let's go ahead and do an update all where we can see other instances change as well. As we do an update all, you see me doing it here. It has changed down here. And you'll see that this, of course, has also changed future instances of the tables that we might choose to create. So if I decide to create another um, format A table, as I'm doing here, you can see that it has indeed changed. By the way, FrameMaker, for your convenience, will turn borders on whenever you insert a table, because it allows you to see where your columns are located. I'd like to turn that off for a moment. Okay, I'm very happy with this, and I'm going to go ahead and save this style. Now, what I'd like to do is to show you how you can port this into another document, or into, and I can actually close the catalog, or into an entire book. So what I'm going to do is I know that resource has the styles I want. I'm going to open up the, the instance called concern, and just quickly create a couple more tables. I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, a format B over here. There we go. And maybe I'll insert one more uh, form format A over here. So all I'm doing is just adding a couple tables. I could add rows and columns. Um, I could have them stretch across the table. Um, they can be different. Uh, widths if you want. For instance, it can actually go across the entire page. So what I'm going to do now is just show you how it takes a Jiffy to go ahead and import these formats from another document. So what I'm going to do is to simply select that command and say that I'd like to import a format. I'm going to turn everything off. I'm going to deselect all. And the only thing that I want to bring in are table formats from that other document called resource. Resource is the document that we worked with before that has the tables that we desire. And with a simple click for import, we'll go ahead and do it. There you go. You'll see that in a Jiffy it has indeed brought in those changes into our table catalog. The names have not changed. These are named tables that can change their style. So just as in the beginning, I could change this to an activity style, to a format A, or to a format B. It's just that simple. We will have more videos about tables in FrameMaker, but this brief demonstration simply shows you how to manage styles and use them effectively. This concludes our demonstration.